First, search for iFacial Macap in the Microsoft Store. Press the Install button to begin installation. After installation, open the application. In order to use highly accurate face tracking with a webcam, you have to use a Windows machine with an NVIDIA RTX series GPU. At first startup, the message, NVIDIA's ARSDK is required, will appear. After some time has elapsed after startup, the ARSDK installer will be launched, so install it. After installing the ARSDK, close the application and reopen it. If you start the application immediately after the SDK installation, you may be asked to install the SDK again, but please ignore this. Ready for face tracking by web camera. If your PC is connected to a webcam, your avatar will appear on your PC screen. Change the output section from Blender to Unity. After pressing the Open Advanced Settings button, press the Script button. Once the folder is open, drag and drop the sample FBX file and script into the project. Load an FBX file into your scene. Attach the script file to any game object anywhere you like. Then start the game. In the desktop application, press the Connect to Unity button to activate the sample avatar. You can also switch from avatar view to camera view in the advanced settings. Let's see how the sample avatar works. Select the skin object of the sample avatar and look at the inspector to see that 52 different blend shapes have been created. If you use these as a reference and create blend shapes for your custom avatar as well, it will work. You only need one blend shape to make it work. If you set the bone names for the head and eyes in the desktop application, you can move them as well. Let's move a simple cube. This is a cube created with other DCC software and has only a jaw open blend shape. Attach the script file to any game object anywhere you like. The object name for this cube is cube. So enter cube in the face object grp name field. The blend shape will now work. If you also use the name of the cube in the head bone field, the cube will rotate. You can also set the motion to be smooth.
Next, learn how to move multiple game objects at the same time. It can also be used when eyebrows, skin and tooth objects are made separately. Create an empty game object and make the object you want to move the blend shape to be its child. You can move a blend shape by looking for all game objects in the hierarchy of the game object specified in face object grp name. If you want to rotate multiple game objects, you can do so by separating the names with commas.